Hey guys, welcome back to another video and I'm so excited for this one. Sorry about starting out in the car, but this video, I am in Lancaster, PA today and I live about two hours away from Lancaster. So I know there's other like YouTubers and stuff that live in Lancaster, um, but anyways, so I'm in Lancaster today mainly to visit the Main Street Exchange, which is a modest women's clothing boutique that have some amazing um, modest like modern pieces that are really pretty um, mainly I'm looking for skirts and things like that um, but yeah we'll see what else we find here and I think I may be getting lunch down here in Lancaster as well I don't know if we'll be going to any other places but I wanted to bring you guys along because I figured this would be a fun unique trip and you guys could kind of spend the day with me so I hope you enjoy and at the end I will try to do a haul or whatever of anything that I get here at Main Street um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoy coming along with me and kind of seeing a little bit of today in my life and let's get into the video. Hey y'all, so I just got home and as I always say, I was like wanting to film more when we were out, but I didn't. We were wanting to go to a cute cafe for lunch in Lancaster and we got there and the wait time was like two hours. And just with the kids and everything, that was just a little too much. So we just kind of grabbed some more quick food. Um, nothing too exciting. So anyways, I'm home and I want to show you guys everything I found. And so I actually have not been to the Main Street Exchange for like two years over two years um and i haven't ordered anything from them i love their stuff but um i just didn't want to pay for shipping or go through the hassle of having to return it if it didn't fit all that kind of thing so i was just waiting till i could get down there in person so i definitely made sure to make good use of being down there today and i got quite a bit of things which is awesome but before I jump in to show you those things that I got, I wanted to thank LifeWit for sponsoring today's video. LifeWit offers a variety of different organizational type items. I've worked with them before. If you've watched my channel for any amount of time, um, I actually have a collapsible laundry bin from them. That's also cute. So it's functional and it collapses. So it's great storage. They have storage for your closets, for under your bed. They have storage for all over. LifeWit actually sent me a cooler tote and it was the perfect timing because with doing the trip today, I wanted to keep the stops to as minimal as possible for food, snacks, all that things. So with this large storage tote from LifeWit, I was actually able to pack it with drinks and fruit and snacks and all the things for the kids and it served a great purpose for me today and I have just been loving using it. It's kind of my go-to bag, it's mine. It's not like I'm borrowing uh, one of Nelson's lunch boxes or something like that so it just makes a great bag to throw in the car to go along when I know the kids and I are going to be going on quite a decent trip. LifeWit also sells some different bags, cooler bags for picnics, all that kind of thing. They just have a variety of those really great home storage items that are just necessities pretty much in your home. So let me show you the cooler bag that they sent me and I'll kind of show you how I had it packed for today. So here is my cooler tote from LifeWit and you probably can't see it on the video but it is a really good size. It's probably at least 18 inches this way and then like 12 or 10 the other way. So anyways in the sides I actually use this for extra diapers that did not fit in my diaper bag because I was not sure how long we were going to be gone today. You have two pockets on the side and then in this pocket there's actually here we go, a little bottle opener, which is awesome if you're someone who's taking a lot of drinks in your cooler. There's also a front pocket here on the front, and then I'll just open it up and kind of show you how I had it packed. Inside, it's just one big cooler, and you'll have to excuse the fact that we picked through the snacks, but I had ice packs in here, and then I just had oranges, snacks for the kids. I threw an extra container in here in case we needed that. Um, cheese sticks, grapes, snacks for Kai. 
Um, there was also space to put some waters in here. And then on the lid for when this is not in use, you can open this strap up and this whole tote collapses like completely flat down. The strap goes around it and it makes it great for storage. So that tote made just the perfect thing for me today and I was really happy to be able to work with LifeWit on this video, even though that's not necessarily like a clothing item, but it's perfect for long trips, especially when you're doing shopping hauls and you have kids with you, all this type of thing. So I'm gonna leave the link for LifeWit and that tote as well as their um, store. They actually sell their products through Amazon, so their store down below. And you guys can check it out if you're interested in any great home storage items that are really affordable. Thanks again LifeWit for sponsoring the video and I'm gonna jump in now to what I got and do a haul for you guys. Okay so to start out if you hear a lot of noise in the background it's just the kids playing. We just got home. They slept on the way home. It was wonderful <laughs> but anyways um, so the first item I'm gonna show you is not a clothing item. Main Street has some cute little like side booths and things set up. Okay they're not booths. Displays with like cute home goods items and I was kind of sad I didn't even get to look through all the displays just because I kind of like by the time I got all the clothes that I wanted and fit them all on because so I'll just tell you maybe you guys do this how I shop is I like to grab two sizes the size I think I am and then a size bigger um, in everything and then go to the fitting rooms and fit everything on and that way if something doesn't fit or I need a different size I automatically have it and I don't have to like run out and try to find it and come back with the kids you know you know the drill so anyways that's kind of what I do but anyways so I'll show you the first item first and then we'll get into all the clothes and as far as clothes I was looking for some nice casual tops some nice Sunday tops um, and denim skirts that was what I was looking for and for the denim skirts you guys may have noticed that I wear well you can't see it but it's a light wash blue one with buttons down the front yes I wear that like a lot and that's because it's one of the only good denim skirts that I have that fits me well so my thing today is I was looking for denim skirts that fit well so I definitely found some I'll be showing them to you guys in a little bit but let me show you the first item that I got that's not a home good goods item but that is really really cute okay so I have been looking for one of these for quite some time and I just never really found one that was cute and affordable and when I was always at the stores that would have ones I forgot to look so when I saw it at Main Street today I was like oh my goodness I've been looking for one forever you know how it goes whatever so it is this little jar it's a white textured jar if it'll focus with a lid and hold up the little it's like for honey the little cute what is this called you guys probably know leave it in the comments if you know what this is called because I don't know what it's called um but what I want this for is I want it for maple syrup for my coffee so I want to put it on my coffee bar I don't use honey a ton but I do use uh maple syrup and I thought that this would just be the cutest thing so I picked this up it was $12.99 so not the cheapest ever but so cute so anyways this is going to be going in my kitchen and yeah that was one of my like super fun finds that wasn't closed. Alright so I'm just laying these things out for you guys and here are two of the tops I found. These are more like church tops. This one has such a pretty leaf pattern on it although I'm going to have to wear something under the neck um, because of right here. And then this one is just oh my word it's almost like a clay color. It's showing more like bright orange on screen but it's almost like a just a clay uh, color I guess I don't know what else to say um, and it has these really cute sleeves so these are Sunday shirts and yeah I will fit these on for you guys here in just a second okay so here are the other three tops that I found and these are more casual this one is just short sleeve it has like a little bit of a sleeve under here so this isn't a full open sleeve which I really like it makes it more like so you can't see into your underarm at all um, but the back of this shirt has a super cute button detail that buttons all the way down so I really love that. The next item I got is this high neck tank top and sorry about the shadows but anyways uh, Main Street carries some of these really nice high neck tank tops that are great for layering. This last shirt I got I don't know if you want to call it a splurge or not it's not something I needed but it's such a cute kind of like it almost has like a shimmery look to it but it's just a plain color um, just kind of a slip on winter shirt and yeah. So those are the end of the shirts. Okay, so I don't know if this counts as a shirt or not, but if it does, I take back what I said. Um, and then I found this. It's a long, like, boho vest, and then it has fringes here at the bottom. So, so cute. And I paid a little bit more for this, but I've been looking for something like this for so long. And so, yeah, I was really happy to find this. I'll fit it on so you guys can kind of see the pattern and all that good stuff. 
Okay, I take back the whole shirt thing completely. This was at the bottom. I forgot I even got this one. Um, this is just a tee. It's actually a very, like, a heavier tee material. Um, and it says honey up here. And then down here, if you guys can see it, it has a Bible verse. So this is just kind of a cute casual tee that has, like, a cool scripture on it. And just a really cool design. Okay, sorry about the glare. But anyways, last but not least are these beautiful skirts that I found and these I all found on final sale so they have a sale room in store that has like defected skirts or maybe uh, model pieces like try on skirts um, or anything like that and so I actually did not pay full price for any of these but I know you can get some of these on their website so you can definitely check that out um, if you're looking for some of these denim skirts so this one is a light wash and I'll show you the price or tell you the price when I fit it on, but it was discounted because if you can see here, there's like a tiny thread defect. That does not bother me. I can sew it and fix it. Um, and yeah, you definitely get a good discount just for that little tiny defect. Next is this dark wash skirt, and I love this one. It is a high low. Here you can see that. So cute. This one was just a final sale item. So yeah, I was really, really, really happy to find this as well. I should add... Um, all the patches are covered in like behind so they're not actually holes and I think that's really awesome um, Last but not least is this dark denim and this is more of like a dressier denim skirt um, It's actually not a Main Street brand. I don't believe I'm not sure. Yeah, it's not put out by Main Street, but it's a stretchy denim size medium That's what I went with in all the skirts and this one was marked down so inexpensive. Um, I think it was just a final sale. And yeah, so that's the last one. And I'll fit them all on for you. Okay, so excuse all the background. You know how it goes when you're trying on clothes. This is the first skirt. I believe it's called a Carly. It's a sun bleached denim. And this one was the one with the thread thing here on the pocket. Um, and this one was $35 marked down from $40. So $5 off just for that little tiny defect, which is awesome. Um, and I got a size 6. I wasn't sure what size I would be. Um, that's part of the reason why I wanted to go in store. This denim is really nice and stretchy and has a give, so it's not quite so tight as, like, older style jean skirts that can kind of just be, like, uh, you know, so tight. I don't know if that bothers you guys, but that bothers me. So anyways, this is the first one. This is just my black top I had on, but I'm gonna be showing you guys some of the tops then. I just wanted to, um, show you this cute skirt first how it looks okay so first off for the tops this is that striped top that has if you can see you probably can't see um it has the buttons there in the back and it is like a little bit big um but i like to tuck my tops in at the waist so it's nice to kind of like blouse it out you know how it goes the sleeves with that like inner layer makes it really nice because it looks like a big sleeve from the front but it's actually not so that's really really cool um, so yeah, this is the first one. This is, I want to say it's more of like a summer top, but you could definitely wear it with a sweater or anything like that, and this one was $26.99 for this shirt. Okay, so next up is this leaf top. Are those leaves? I don't know. You guys tell me. Anyways, um, and I'm actually wearing that white tank underneath just because this is a little too low for me. I know depending on, sorry, depending on who you are, it might be okay. Um, but it's a little low for me, so I just have it tucked into this light wash denim. I did buy it to be more of a church skirt. Oh my. Anyways, but, it, or I mean, church shirt. I bought this to be more of a church shirt, dressy. Um, but you could make it work for anything. And I kind of have the sleeves, like, pulled up a little bit, because there's elastic there. Okay, there we go. There's an elastic band there, but I have them pulled up, so they kind of blouse cute. And, yeah, it's gonna be cute for winter. You could wear it with a sweater, but also cute for summer. I'm trying to get pieces that kind of work across the board also this shirt buttons the entire way down so if you're a nursing mom that is awesome for nursing just fyi oh and this shirt um hold on let me check how much it was okay so the tank top was 15 dollars 14.99 um and these are actually put out by kosher casual so you can get them on main street main street's website but you might be able to order them directly from kosher casual and then the shirt uh was 35 dollars or 34.99 something like that um, so yeah, definitely not the most inexpensive one, but today was one of those days where I was just going to kind of redo my closet um, with clothes that fit me. So yeah, I was really happy with this find. Okay guys, next outfit. I'm having to pause in between changing to take care of the kiddos, but this is that tea, that honey tea that I bought, if you can see it. Um, this one was $17 and it's like a thick knit tea. I love it. I've never felt a tea like this. Um, but it's not restricting at the neck. That always drives me nuts. Okay, sorry about that. It was having a 
issue focusing. So this skirt is that stretchy um, dark wash skirt, super stretchy. Again, it's not Main Street's brand, um, but it was on the final clearance for, what was it, $18, I think? Um, so that was really awesome. I was really happy about that. So yeah, this shirt was 17 um, and the skirt was 18. Yeah. All right, so next one. I feel like my hair is getting crazier with every try on from taking things like all over and off my head. But anyways, um, is this shirt. That's my same skirt from last time. But this shirt was $34, I believe. Um, and it's just like, it's just a neutral color. And I, I love it. I think it's just going to be nice to... Just be kind of like a casual shirt, but it's just a pretty color that could go with like anything, any color skirt, whatever. Um, and then I have three pieces left, but I'm going to show you them all together. Okay, so last, except for one more piece that I'll show you in just a second, is um, this shirt. This shirt was, I think, $31, I believe, and this skirt was um, on final clearance black denim for $25. So the skirt was a steal. Um, but yeah, this shirt, I really love the tight elastic bands with the cuff. It's going to be great for church. Um, it's a great shirt for under sweaters because the top is totally plain. So it's just a, or the front, like it has no design, nothing on the front. I kind of like that. This shirt is by far one of my favorite ones that I got there today. Okay, so last but not least is this piece, this black, what's this called guys? Overlay thing that I got. I've been looking for one of these for quite some time and I've been looking for one in cream or white and then I saw this black one and I was like that is so unique so I picked it up I think it was like $41 so a bit on the pricier side but it's a long one it has fringes at the bottom just super pretty and it's just gonna make a great addition to like any outfit okay so that is everything I got and I know it's kind of a rather large haul and yeah we spent like two hours maybe in the store which it's not a very big store so that is quite a good amount of time but I wanted to make it worth my while shipping prices aren't the cheapest gas is not the cheapest but since we were going down there I was like let's make it worth a while let's look like or for me I wanted to look for everything I could while I was there and I was super happy with what I was able to find so if you don't know Main Street Exchange has a website and I'm gonna link it down below for you guys I don't have any codes or discounts for you so I'm sorry about that but you can definitely be on the lookout for their website um, for sales, things like that. And um, if you follow them on Instagram, they'll let you know of their sales on Instagram, like flash sales, anything like that. I've said that a lot. But anyways, any sales. Um, I'm not sure if all the pieces I got are on their website. Probably most of the skirts will be because they have an amazing selection of denim skirts. They also have beautiful dresses. I didn't even get any dresses today. Um, I was more worried about skirts than anything. So definitely check out Main Street if you like any of the pieces that I fit on or anything like that. You can also comment below if you're not exactly sure what the piece is called and I can find the name and link for you um, that way as well. Thanks guys so much for coming along today on my trip. I have to get going to get supper started but I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog coming along with me seeing a little bit of Langster. Okay just like a tiny bit. Um, and seeing all the different things that the Main Street Exchange has. Don't forget also to check out the link down below for LifeWit. If you're looking for any home organization they're definitely your go-to place so I recommend checking them out. I'm gonna get going because of starting supper and it getting later but thanks guys again for watching the video and I'll see you guys next week in my next video. Bye guys!